discussion and topic for today. So I'm going to express an opinion that has been on my mind and heart for for a while since last week. And I th- you know, after uh, doing some research, I had to really just had to really put this video out. But so it's just bear with me. <clears throat> so um, as many has have known by now. The PS5 is going is might be coming out between the end of this year or next year, or whatever. And from what I understand is the PS5 doesn't have any backwards compatibility. And what I mean by that is the PS5 won't be playing any PlayStation 1 games, any PlayStation 2, any PlayStation 3, or any PlayStation 4, from what I understand. So when I heard that news, I was really, really bummed out. I was really just dissatisfied. And what I just feel like is Sony is, is, is getting ready to lose a customer. Because I feel like this is just complete and utter bullshit to me. You know, I've been I've been with Sony since the fourth grade. I bought the very first PS1 console <clears throat> when I was in in fourth grade that was like between 1997 and 1998 so i stuck with the ps it was with ps the ps1 i bought the ps2 uh i i didn't buy the ps3 because i was more intrigued by the xbox 360 and so and with that being said i seen the fact that i did that and stuck with the, the xbox 360 for um i had to say maybe like about mm, Maybe about seven years, you know, I decided to just go back to, P- to Sony. So, you know, it wasn't any hard feelings with uh, Microsoft or whatever, but I just want to just be, you know, be with Sony, you know, just have, buy a, another P- PlayStation game, a, a PlayStation console, and just, you know, just let that be that. But I have no um, no desire what, <clears throat> what console, you know, that I want, but you know these consoles really don't make me you know but i'm just like saying i just feel like there needs to be some type of quality with these consoles that's basically what the bottom line is and the fact that you're not that sony is not doing is not uh doing backwards compatibility with the with their console is pretty much a bad move to me because you're getting ready to lose a lot of customers and i heard and i heard from the grapevine that they're hit that this ain't the first time Sony has fucked up. You know, for Sony has fucked up on num- numerous occasions. What I don't know, because I'm not really uh, into consoles like that. But uh, you know, from what I understand, it is, it is what it is. So, you know, con- you know, console wise or whatever, I just feel like you know Sony's getting ready to drop the ball. You know, I just feel like Sony's getting ready to lose a lot of customers, a lot of dedicated customers. But you know, I just had to just really. You know say this from what i you know based on what you know with all the uh the fiasco and the shenanigans with mortal kombat 11 and everything ed boone has been doing what i just really feel like is you know with a lot of these major corporations is you know these guys really don't care about us the customers they don't really they're not really trying to understand our expectations you know as us the customers because we're we're the ones that's buying this these uh these consoles these high price consoles and these high price games you know on launch day or whatever so they're not really understanding that but you know they they don't need to understand it because the only thing they need they they need from us is our money that's all they need from us so you know, it's just it's, it's a it's a disappointment. I mean, it's, it could be like a good a good business move, but it's a very disappointment to us because we re- we really had. I do know a lot of people have, you know, PS a lot of PS one games. I know a lot of people got a lot of PS two games, PS three games, and me myself, I got a lot. You know, I got about eight PS four games. So you know, if I'm able to buy the PS five, I won't be able to play my PS four games. And and that's that's gonna be kind of an issue. You know, and it's gonna be just a headache to take that. You know, and this it doesn't make any sense because. You know, if I if I wanted to play a PS4 game, I go on ahead and unplug all everything from the PS5, put the P, uh, you know, 
unplug every wire, the USB cord, the the uh, video cords, and all that. I got unplug all that. I got plug the uh, the PS the PS4 uh cords back onto my TV and everything, and just you know play a, just to play a game. You know, maybe one game that has been on my mind that I could play on the PS5 it had it had a backwards compatibility. So that's just the uh, that's just the point that I'm trying to make. It just it you know it doesn't make any sense t- for them to to do that. You know it doesn't really because that's just going to be a headache for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So that's just that was one thing I definitely did, uh, want to uh, express. You know with uh, the PS5. Now another thing I definitely did want to uh, express was. You know, I you know, as far as the gaming industry is concerned, with updates and you know, with these updates on these consoles, on these updates on the these frequent updates on these games and everything else, it's just like it's becoming like a headache. Because I was I was getting ready to play Soul Calibur Six uh, the other day, and I had to wait maybe thirty minutes to an hour for this update to uh to to uh you know finish up. And, you know, it was, you know, I was just anticipating to just get back on Soul Capital 6 because I haven't played Soul Capital 6 in a long while. You know, I haven't played since last year. So, you know, I was really anticipating to play that. But it was just like to the point I was like, man, I was just like, I was just like, I, you know, I, you know, the anticipation just went away, you know, because I had to just wait and wait and wait, you know, for this slow console to update the game. So I was like, I was just a little, just, just a little ticked off about that, but it just also made me remind myself that I missed the old school days where, you know, the consoles didn't need any updates, the games didn't need any updates. You can just buy a game from, you know, a GameStop or a game, you know, a gaming store, pawn shop, whatever, and then you come back home and you're playing, you know, and you just instantly just playing the game. No updates required. You know, you had to wait an hour before you got, you know, to go up before the game updated on your on your console. You know, so that was just like that was just that was just the experience that I was just having. That was just a flashback that I have. I really miss those old school days where, you know, we didn't have to worry about those updates anymore. So, you know, that was just another thing that was just on my mind. You know, and you know, it just it is what it is. So I guess you know we just we gotta just take it. You know, just take it for what it is and just, you know, just suck it up and just, you know, move on, you know, move on in life. So it is what it is. So peace and blessings to everybody that has that's listened to this video. I do appreciate everybody listening, you know, listening and tuning in. Uh, like, share and subscribe if you really d- are down with this video uh, to the sus- to my new subscribers that had a uh, that just subscribed uh, last week i do appreciate y'all i do y'all are very super y'all are winners and i just i'm just gonna let y'all know y'all on the winning team right now because jordan because jordan warren is getting ready to uh make, make some more content for you know the world that we in in this realm that we in so i do appreciate everybody you know for you know for for the support I do appreciate everybody that is, you know, down with me and, you know, I'm going to just let y'all know right now, um, it's going to take me some time for the live streams to uh, come back up because my console is uh, defective. My PS4 is defective right now. It has a glitch in it and I don't know what's going on with it, but it looks like to me, I'm going to have to had to buy another console so you know like i said it is what it is with that but uh you know once again peace and blessings to everybody uh you know keep your mindset at 100 you know let don't let nobody bring you down just keep on pushing and just keep just you know just keep making it you know to my uh my other youtubers just keep making that great content that y'all all that y'all y'all love to do and experience is more than what you can imagine. How you treat others impacts you both, and it costs nothing to be kind in this world. So, peace and blessings once again, and have a super safe day. So, update. Um, I stumbled across some of these articles from from yesterday, last night, and 
it looks like it might have been incorrect about uh, the PS5 not playing all PS4 games. It looks like it can play some, but not all of them. So just pause the video, read the articles for yourself, you know, some of these snippets for yourself, and, you know, you be the judge. So peace and blessings, and have a great day.